but um, I, I know it's been in a lot of ways an unprecedented year. Getting things through, you know, a myriad of processes can just be time consuming and boggling, but all those steps that that, that takes, that takes the right people and um, somebody bringing those people together to make it happen. And it's Leanne. Yeah. And I only know this for the Sheriff's Department, but there's all the other departments in the county that she does it for, and I'm, I'm sure she has the same results where um, everybody's happy working with her and happy with, with their project. It's been so easy to work with her, and um, she brings others into the fold too that really helps actually get a project, you know, going. Christmas tree. Someone in another department uh, nominated you for outstanding leadership. Thank you. Uh, and uh, you were awarded the. Thank you. No, we really appreciate everything you do. I mean, you, you lead the staff, you help all the departments, and we really appreciate everything you do. I would say the word excellence applies to Mary just because of her dedication um, to the youth and to the institution and what she brings um, to the team. Mary is a correctional technician uh, with us at the Maxine Singer Youth Guidance Center. And so anybody who's calling and also asking about their youth or, or their kids or, or anything like that, she is a first contact. I thought Mary was a perfect uh, fit for this nomination just because of her dedication and her work ethic um, to the institutions, her teamwork, her ability to adjust her schedule. Um, like I said, we've had a couple years where we've been um, short staff and, and Mary has really stepped up. and and said and has been willing to take on shifts that she wasn't you know necessarily prepared for because we weren't prepared to be in this situation during these times and so um, yeah she has just done a good job in stepping up they awarded you uh, the workforce excellence award for this year so congratulations <laughs> You make the team better and we appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Tracy's positive. Um, she's like spontaneous and she brings that to the job. And you know, some days it brings you up and you're like, oh, okay, we can get through today and bring that positive energy to the people. We have a job, we're out enforcing rules and regulations, but when you can bring that compassionate uh, approach, relate to them on things that she's been through and seeing her just go out of her normal work scope, uh, had conversations with her about a situation and then the next day she's like, oh, I was researching online and there's this program. Maybe we can reach out to them. What she does, the effort she puts in, the above and beyond is incredible and I felt she should be recognized for that. What is happening? <laughs> You're the, the recipient this year of the Public Service oh, Excellence oh Award. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. Keep it up. What you're doing, Thank you're you. doing a great job. Thank you so much. Thank you all for your support. Yeah. I love what I do. <laughs> We've been working on a three plus year project between community development and IT on updating our software system in community development to allow a better customer experience. That's what really um, made me want to nominate this, this team was just how well they got along in this environment of increased workload because development is, is booming and it's the busiest they've ever done. They're doing this massive software system upgrade that involved working long hours. Anything that takes three years plus to get done has a lot of moving parts. And you know, everyone involved did this, as I mentioned, um, in addition to the regular schedules, but they did it with smiles on their faces. They did it without complaining, oh, testing, 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 and they all did this with a really great attitude. And, and that, that made me really happy and proud. 
that this has just been estimated okay. and someone nominated the team that worked on implementation of InterCov. When everybody uh, evaluated the different nominees, uh, this team uh, was the one chosen oh. to be the mm -hmm. outstanding uh, team award for Thanks. this year. This is why things work, mm -hmm. because you have a team. The pleasure of my job is the people that, that work here. Um, uh, they make me uh, way better than I probably am and I greatly appreciate them. I think there's numerous things why you instantly start thinking why Matt would be um, perfect for the leadership award for the county. Um, he places high expectations on himself not only here in the workplace and what he could do here in the workplace but what he could do for his community. He's the founder of Agents of Change and many of us that know what Agents of Change is um, know the impact that it's had on the Yuba Sutter community. Um, what they've done and the people that they've helped is uh, immense and beyond impressive. And uh, that, that idea was born from him. Uh, Matt is as real as, as you're going to get. Uh, what you see, what he says, uh, what he demonstrates is real. There's, there's nothing behind that except trying uh, to make, um, again, our department and the county better. If we want to just walk in and... Okay. Well, first we wanted to we want to do something for you though. I don't need anything. No, you know, <laughs> sure, that sounds about right. That sounds right. Uh, that's that's a that's a leader right there. You were nominated uh, as being an outstanding leader um, for a very long time here at the county. Yeah, yes. I appreciate it. Yeah, but, I don't yeah. really uh, need the recognition. I mean, staff do all the work. You know, I get to mm -hmm. sit here and watch the show every day. Well, it's people like you that make the county better. Yeah, and it's strong leadership and everything that you give in the county world period of time is, has made us all better. Gene can uh, wear many hats, you know, uh, when you need sometimes things to be done uh, quickly, uh, Gene can get in there and has a really good can-do attitude and can be direct and, and, and real clear expect, explanations of what she needs. It's, and she's in a very challenging role as being a CPS social worker and so in that role, her job duties are never stagnant. They're always changing. We always need to be looking at creativity, new ideas. That's always reflected too with Jean in the way she's an advocate for not only her kids, but also the families and on the agency as well as she as how she represents herself in the community. Jean is, uh, always has their best interest. Um, and the best part about Jean is when she is that, she has the ability to think outside the box and come up with some ideas and Jean, um, whenever she has those barriers that she's facing, she comes with the solutions too. So it's not always like, here's my issue, here's the situation, what are you going to do about it? She does a lot of research to say, hey, here's something that we can do creative. Here's maybe a place that these uh, families can get some counseling that's specifically designed for their needs. And so she doesn't just do a broad paintbrush. It's very strategic, very specific. Um, and I think that's what a lot of her families appreciate too, is she builds that relationship with them. So someone anonymously nominated you for uh, the Workforce Excellence Award. And yours stood out. And so you are this year's awardee for Workforce Excellence. Thank yes. you, thank you. Yay! Yay. <laughs> I appreciate it, thank you. Yeah. Okay. I know. <laughs> One, two, three. I nominated my supervisor, Russ Brown, Media and Community Relations Coordinator. I nominated him because he is always the first to arrive and the last to leave um, in good times and in emergency situations. He always puts his whole heart and soul into everything that he does for uh, the community and for the county. From starting the first Facebook page uh, back when Facebook was first released to the public to really setting up our robust uh, video program in our small little department uh, to pioneering drone footage um, for Yuba County. Russ really tries to push the envelope. Everything he does, he just does in mind uh, for the community. Out the camera. This is like our little rehearsal because Russ is such a dedicated public servant for so many years. I have no idea what's going on, by right. the way. Right. But we're actually talking about you right now. Oh, you are. Sustained public service excellence. 
right? Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> cheers. Yeah, it's yes. Steering Award recipient. I'm, I'm, okay. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Right. That was it, huh? Yeah, yeah that was it. That was a nice <laughs> You like that, Russ? I like it. Congratulations. Right. Thank you. <laughs>I'm really proud of this group and they do a lot of good work um, that really I think affects our community in a positive way, our department in a positive way and that was one of the reasons I, I went ahead and did that. I've been supervising this group um, I think now for like four years and um, this group just continues every year after year amaze me and they are exceptional. You know you have a lot of clients who are very resistant to change and they are coming into a building where all these services are being offered that they feel they don't need, they don't want and here we have our our group, our staff who you know have to fight through that every single day and I feel like they are very successful in doing that. What they do is not easy and you really have to have heart to be able to do something like this over so you know many years and over the years it continues continues and it gets stronger and stronger so obviously it's in their heart this is a commitment that they make to to our clients in this community and it's and it just amazes me because day in day out they're here and they deliver and they come back thank goodness but <laughs> good morning guys good morning your your, your group was uh, nominated um, for team excellence. And then we also have kind of an anonymous uh, committee that evaluates all the different nominations. And uh, that committee selected your team uh, for this year's recipient of the team excellence award. So congratulations, you guys. Yes. I think you, what you guys do, the impact you have on our community is immense. You guys are changing lives out here. And uh, we appreciate it, the community appreciates it. Well, I get to see you guys day in and day out, do everything that you guys do, and I couldn't work with a more amazing team. I think it's a real privilege for the chairman of the board to actually, on behalf of the board, pick someone out of the employees that does an exceptional job. What would that individual look like? Well, they have to be really highly motivated. Uh, they have to be personable. Uh, they have to get along well with their peers and the public. And for this year, it's Rachel Downs. Rachel um, is extremely bright, works very well with the public, works with employees. Um, she is a one dedicated individual that really gets the big picture of Yuba County and how to work with all those players involved. Uh, she's the contact, she's the individual that works with, directly with the public and uh, is a representative of Yuba County. Uh, we're very proud of what she does and how she does it. Uh, and this is where the Board of Supervisors has kind of got their eye on someone that's really stood out um, throughout the year. <laughs> who, who could you imagine could do a better job than Rachel? Uh, Rachel is yeah. the star this year. Mm -hmm. Done a tremendous job for the county and the public. So you, you are the awardee, and we really appreciate everything you do. So thank you. I appreciate the recognition, but at the same time, I appreciate the leadership that set the vision, and I appreciate the team that supports everything else.